Hey friends, in this one we're going to be taking Season 1, Game of Thrones. I recently acquired these because my friend died. Well, he didn't really die, but he got married. But nonetheless, his new wife didn't want him to have this, so he donated them to me. And so now I've got the first, well, I've got all the seasons of Game of Thrones on Blu-ray. So I've been working on putting this on my Plex, and in doing so I've been cutting out the outros and in, or yeah, the outros and the intros of every single episode. So when I watch it, I'm not interrupted by those irritating intro sequences and then outro sequences. I can basically just watch it like one really long movie, you know, that's separated by episodes. So in this, we're going to be taking episode one and two from the Blu-ray, and then I'm going to show you how to edit any MKV file so you can remove any portion of any video that you have so that you can just watch it without whatever said clip. In this case, we're going to be removing the outros and intros to any episode. So I've got it loaded up into MKV already. So as you can see, this has several different files on it. These are all the bonus features and whatnot for Game of Thrones. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, unselect all, like you've seen in my previous video, and choose this 14.4 gig file and this 16.1 gig file. And I'm going to hit make MKV. It's going to go ahead and create these onto my desktop. And we'll come back once I've got the files. Alright, now it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of Make MKV. And open up a new Safari window. And we're going to use a tool called MKV Tool Mix. It's a free program. So what you want to do is just click on the first link, the MKV Tool Mix download. And click on Downloads, choose the OS that you want. They've got plenty, they've got Windows, Mac OS, several different flavors of the Linux. So I want Mac OS, and you want to do the fossa.com link. And the reason you want to do this, this is for Windows and Mac OS, is this gives you the GUI for you to mess around with MKV Toolmix, which I really like. It's easy to use, so choose the one that's applicable for you and download it. And then once you have it, install it and launch it. Alright, so once you have it, what you're going to do is go to your file that you've got, drop it onto input, and then you're going to click on output, and you're going to choose by parts based on time codes. And what we need to do is launch the MKV that we, that we have. I use VLC because down here at the bottom, uh, can't see that, zoom out a little bit. Down here at the bottom it's got a little number tracker or a time tracker so you can see where it's at. So jump. So right here is just the intro scene. This is what I want to get rid of. So right here is going to be 0147. You want to listen to it to make sure you're not cutting off any of the intro because there may be some talking during black, but there's no talking, so 0147 or a minute and 47 seconds. We're going to jump back to MKV Toolmix and type in 0147 and then dash and then what we're going to do is go and find to the very start of the credits which this is. So I always play it a little bit to make sure there's no talking or anything that rolls into the black as well. So I get all the talking and everything for the movie, and then right before the credits, I stop it. So this happens to be 54 minutes and 12 seconds. And then this is going to be the destination for it, so just right onto the desktop. If you're going to be doing a bunch of these, I suggest you go to Output, and then change it to Use Fixed Directory, and then change it to the Fixed Directory. And then when you populate a new, or when you open up a new um, work tab, it'll automatically have the destination 
right here at the bottom for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start multiplexing. And this is gonna go through and start cutting out the stuff that we didn't put in there. So it's gonna start at a minute 47 and go all the way to 54 minutes and 12 seconds. Now if you wanna be more precise or if you have something that's longer than an hour, this actually goes into a code or breaks out into longer, so zero, zero. So this first number is the hour, the second one's the minutes, seconds, and then microseconds. So if we were to type that out, it'd be um, zero, zero for the hour, colon, and then the minutes, colon, the seconds, and then nanoseconds. So what I want to do next is take this file, oops, not that file, all right, we're going to take this file, we're going to do the same thing, so by parts based on time codes, and this one's going to be a little bit more tricky because this one has movie or video of the first that I want, and then it's got the... Uh, yeah, over here it's got the intro sequence. So what I want to do is go far enough to where I get past this HBO entrance. So that was zero, zero, 007, so seven seconds into it. Zero, zero, colon, zero, seven, two. And then we're going to go find the very first of the intro. which happens to be 7 minutes and 15 seconds. So 0, 7, and then 15. And then gamma. And then we're going to do a plus sign because we want it to be all one file. If you don't put a plus sign, it's going to break it up into multiple files. And we don't want that. So plus, and now we're going to go to the end of that intro sequence. And that's zero minute or eight minutes and fifty-five seconds. So zero eight fifty-five. And then hyphen. Now we're gonna to skip to the end of the movie. So this is going to be an hour and 29 seconds. So this is going to be a little bit more complicated, but still easy. So zero one, so one hour, and zero minutes, 29 seconds, and zero microseconds. Then I'm going to hit start multiplexing. And you can do this as many times as you want. And I just hit command N, and it creates a new tab for me. I believe in Windows it's just going to be control N. Um, but this queues it up, you can see the queue right here. And then job output, you can see how, how it's going along. So with this, you only want to use the source material for cutting stuff out. You don't want to keep using the files that you've you ran through MKV and uh, MKV Toolnix. So the files that I just made, I don't want to run that through MKV Toolnix again. If you keep using that, it's going to cause issues. And when you actually end up with your file that you want, it's going to have little issues when you actually play it. So after you've gone through, you've edited the stuff you don't want in the file anymore. The next step is to use Handbrake and then see my other video about how to use Handbrake on how to compress it down. But once you've done that, you've got the file that you want, use Handbrake to put it in the format that you, should, that you need so you can watch it on anything and then you're done. It's really easy, really quick to do. However, don't get too picky on how perfect the first and the last of it is, because if you spend too much time trying to get into the nanoseconds, so there's not a nanosecond of extra material that you need, you're going to drive yourself crazy. It's going to take a long time. Believe me, I know. I've done it. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I fight it and fight it and fight it and fight it, ultimately to where I'm like, ah, screw it. I guess I'll just leave the last little bit of credit in the movie. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like.
If you want to see more of my stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.